In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Welcome to this morning's Mass. We welcome you and our brothers and sisters who are live streaming this Mass from their homes. Let us now recognize that only God is perfect. Let us call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us into everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastising effect of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues them. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if not, but if you do not forgive them, neither will your Father forgive your trans- transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. The older I get, which seems to be more often, at least by minute by minute, I can appreciate what God has been going through since the beginning of time, trying to help man understand what his whole purpose was, the purpose of him creating us out of love, make sure that we can understand our love is more important than anything, because he wanted companionship. And yet we, in our own way, keep on fighting that. We fought it through the entire, if you just read the Old Testament, you see we fight it constantly. And God has sent prophets, and he sent miracles and all kinds of things, and even put up a law together through Moses to make sure that we could understand that God does all of everything he does through love. And we keep on hitting at it. Jesus comes, and he, again, does all the things that we need to have to make sure that we understand how God loves us. We keep on fighting him. In our society today, we're so broken up, we don't understand one way or the other. And instead of being selfless like God has asked us to be, we're more selfish, unfortunately. Today in our Gospel from Matthew, Jesus tells us just a very simple prayer from God's perspective of how we can make sure that we understand that God's love for us is, is always, it's, it's, it's constant. That we don't have to worry about whether God is going to abandon us or fear that God is going to walk away from us. He's going to be there for us. And in his mercy, he's going to forgive us for all the things that we do. And yet we keep on fighting that as well. So I, I was reading about this, and St. Cyprian, who uh, is a, a saint and also a martyr, basically dissected the entire Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. And I read today in, the, in our in liturgy of the hours, here's the last paragraph of, of what he said. And I think it's pr- appropriate to understand that, what God is trying to do and why we need to follow that. He says, so my brothers, let us pray as God our Master has taught us, to ask the Father in words his Son has given us, to let him hear the prayer of Christ ringing in his ears, is to make our prayers a friendship, a family prayer. Let the Father recognize the words of his Son. Let the Son who lives in our hearts be also on our lips. We have him as our advocate for sinners before the Father. When we ask forgiveness for our sins, let us use the words given by our advocate. He tells us, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. With what more effective prayer could we then make in the name of Christ than in the words of his own prayer? I think today as we hear the Our Father, as we do every day at Mass, we can think about how, again, what, we're, what we are asking, what Jesus has asked us to ask the Father, to make sure that we have this oneness, this relationship of love, to make sure that the sinfulness that is in our bodies, because we have that sin nature, can be dissipated as long as we ask God for forgiveness and make sure that we can follow through with the things he's asked us to do, to forgive others as well. Please stand. Grateful for God's mercy in our lives, let us now lift up our prayers before him. For members of the church throughout the world, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For national and civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them in serving their people as Christ came to serve us. Let us pray to the Lord. For the poor, may God save them from the distress and provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For this worship community, may the Eucharist strengthen us as we work to build God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all who have died, may God soon welcome them into the eternal kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, And for our special intentions today, for for the memory of Charles Steichen, Adam Pongetti, Brother Robert Lavoy, I'm sorry, and then for the special intentions of, of Brother Robert Lavoy, El, Albert Montano, and for the souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, please accept these prayers on our behalf and attend to them according to your will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For our the Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform them. This temporal substance you have given us, that it might bring us eternal life. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that are eternal. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like to dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread and he gave you thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to our Heavenly Father with the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, Richard. Nathan, peace. Peace. Uh, Scott Landry, Kathy, and to our live streamers, peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Bring some sick in the homebound. Just a reminder that today we conclude our parish mission at 7 o'clock. Everyone's invited to come tonight here at the church. And then we will be moving to the hall for a uh, group activity. And, uh, and then after, afterwards we'll have light refreshments in the hall for everyone as we conclude our parish mission. Hope you can come. Please stand. Mission starts at 7 p.m. here in the church. Let us pray. May your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessings. In grief, may you be their consolation. In tribulation, their power to endure. In peril, your protection. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Have a blessed day, everyone.